Hello everyone and welcome to another Amazon Tech video. On today's episode, I want to show you how you can easily copy pages between SharePoint site collections using Microsoft Lists and Power Automate. So without further ado, let's jump into the solution that I just built and let's dive into the details of what you need to do to implement something like this in your own tenant. Imagine this scenario. I just created this page on my root site collection about our Portuguese version of the root 66 Nacional 2 and I've built it and I realized that I did it in the wrong site. But unfortunately, there's no easy way for me to select the page and move it to the correct site collection. But we are about to fix that using a list that will be the repository of all the pages that you want to move in your tenant and then with Power Automate we will be able to move them to the correct locations. Instead of going through the creation process, I will rather show you how I've built it and I will show you the solution already in place. And if you want to stop the video and if you want to pause or read the full description on the article on my blog post that I will link uh, down below, uh, you will be able to find all the details for the list and all the details for the Power Automate. In here, I will show you how it looks like and I will show you it in action. So the first thing that you will need to do is create a list in SharePoint that will host the location where the page was created, the uh, library and the name of the page and the destination site uh, for that page and also if you want to delete the original or not. This is optional uh, if you want to keep the original in the uh, site collection for uh, backup reason and delete it manually later on, you can do that. If you want to automate the entire process and delete it immediately from the original site, once it gets copied to the new location, uh, you just need to check this option. So this is what we will do first. And before we uh, add the information here, let's go to the Power Automate flow and sh see what uh, it's done uh, in the flow. So. The trigger is when an item is created on the SharePoint list. Uh, I didn't mention, but I did create this list in the app catalog. So other um, administrators that need to do this uh, will have an easy access to this solution. And uh, it's in a central location that uh, other users will be able to uh, take advantage off even though the flow it's on my account on the uh, Power Automate. So when the item is created in this list, uh, the list is called copy pages, uh, I will get um, then the um, copy file action and I will get the current site from the title column, the file to copy from the page to copy column, the destination um, address from the destination site column and uh, then manually I'm writing site pages here because I know exactly where uh, site pages live in all SharePoint site collections. And I decided that uh, I want to replace the file in case it already exists with the same name in the destination site collection, but that's not something that you need to do on your uh, end. You can fail if um, the file already exists, um, copy with a new name, um, and that way you will keep both. Then, uh, to delete the file, uh, there is a condition, uh, and if this condition is uh, true, um, the, the, the field in the list is a yes or a no um, field. So if it is true, then it goes to the if yes branch, and in here it will uh, then delete the file. Once again, the site address, uh, it's the title column, that is the column where the original URL uh, is stored and then the file identifier uh, it's the tricky part on this flow the file um, identifier uh, it's a combination of the library name um, followed by um, the file name and in this um, scenario here um, I use the for this formula to replace the uh, slash from the uh, site pages slash um, 
page name by the encoded version of this character. And this is how the file identifier works when you want to delete the file. It's not the ID of the file, it's this combination. Um, and that's the uh, reason why um, instead of having here uh, an ID or a file name directly from the list, I have this uh, replace that uses the uh, page to copy column that is stored in the list. So we've seen this already um, in here. Now let's go to the list and let's um, add the entry. So the, the, the page gets copied from this site collection and goes into this um, new site collection. The first thing that I will have to do is click on the new and add the Destinate the origin um, of the um, SharePoint site where the page is. And in this case, I will copy this link, paste it over here. The page to copy. Uh, here, please make sure if you are following this and if you will then implement the solution based on the instructions of the blog post, make sure that uh, the value does not start with the um, slash. Um, because I did. I, I don't have any validation uh, for it in the Power Automate. I simply replied it, and if you put the, the page starting with a slash, then it will fail when you try to delete the file. Everything else will work fine. Um, the only thing that, that, you, that will not work is the um, delete. The copy will work just fine. So we will come up here and copy everything else, site pages, and then uh, the name of the page put it in here and the destination site collection is this one. So let's put it in here. Yeah, and yes, let's of course delete the original. I don't want it in the root site. I want it in the other site instead. So let's hit the save button. And in just a few seconds, the flow should start running and we will see the page um, being copied to the other site collections. So it was already executed and if everything went as expected, the page no longer lives in the root site collection and it's, it's now in the um, internet site collection. But let's see what happened here with the Power Automate flow. So when the item was created in the list, it did get the all the information um, that I added into the list and this matches exactly what we see in here, so the name of the current site, the file location, the destination, and uh, then in the condition, the condition return as true uh, because I've selected it to delete the original. And also this um, delete file action also worked and the site um, address is in here and this is the, the uh, file identifier for that uh, specific page. As you can see, there's the uh, name of the library followed by the um, name of the page. And this was the location where the page uh, was. So let's refresh this URL. And 404 not found. All good. It's now living in the recycle bin of this site collection. And now let's go to um, site pages on this other one. And let's see if it's in here. And here it is. As simple as that. Now, um, my page about um, National 2 with my lovely first car um, in which I did uh, National 2 a few years ago with a few friends. Um, it's in here. Um, one thing that you should take into consideration, if you are using uh, web parts that reference um, images or lists or documents that live in the original site collection, you should change them and you should move that content also to the site collection where you copy the page. Otherwise, um, you will not guarantee that um, the users will continue to have access to those images. For example, um, this image, uh, it's still leaving in the site assets folder of the original site collection. The same for this one, the text and this uh, playlist web part that, that store all the data into the page directly. Uh, those uh, do not have a problem, but um, this needs to be fixed to make sure that everyone access um, to the uh, content that you have in the page. Uh, things like quick links uh, and other web parts that store the information directly into the page, you don't have to worry um, about that. 
you should check that everything works. And if it does, then uh, hit the publish button and it will become available uh, to all users. And um, this is how I copied a page uh, from one site collection to the other um, with just a few clicks. This entire process is fully automated and it will take you uh, less than two minutes to uh, get all the information, create a new list item, and then wait for the Power Automate to run. Um, but please take into consideration that this does not change um, anything on the page. It copies the file from one site collection to the other, but then it's up to you to um, make sure that the content that you have on that page is still accessible to everyone that has access to the new um, site collection. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you want to implement this exact same solution, make sure you visit uh, the first link in the video description where you will be able to find the detailed instructions in the blog post. If you have any questions uh, or any suggestions to improve this, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I will be back to you. See you next time. Bye bye.